Okay guys, I forgot to lock the truck. It's uh, right there and I probably should do that before I fly up to the top of that mountain. So we're just gonna casually here and let's see if I can get the key. We're gonna now let's see. Hit it, maybe. I see the lights now. Beautiful. Right here is Utah Lake. We got Mount Tim right in front of us. 
And uh, this right here is Eagle Mountain, I believe. I'm way down there. Land swan spot work. See if I could land up here right now. It's fairly smooth. Well, it's actually freezing cold, I should say. We'll, we'll take a peek. spot right there doesn't look like the dream to land on right now you know what I'm saying whoa I don't think I could get down give it a try. Hey, if I land on uh, Church's Rock like I did the other day, I could land up here. Do I have enough wind though? I might just need to keep on sprinting. Take a quick selfie. I think that's a that's a that's the move right now. Set her down. Take a quick selfie. See what I can get. Whoa! Whoa! Come on, baby. Bring me down. I'm not sure I'm gonna get down this time. Oh. Nice. Here we are. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully I can get out of here. It's always the risk. But welcome to Eagle Mountain. Let's check and make sure this GoPro's filming. That's good. I'm still rolling. Look at this spot, man. Holy cow. I think I'm at about 10,000 feet in elevation or so. Which is quite up here. See, I got my trusty flat top and dominator. I should be able to nail this launch. But yeah, here we are. Look at these views, man. Holy cow. So like I was saying up there, Salt Lake City, Utah is that way. Uh, Point of the Mountain, Utah, which is a really cool flying spot, uh, paragliding spot, is right there. Here I am at Utah Lake and Eagle Mountain. Let's do it. I'm going to set myself back up over there. Maybe nail myself a forward, maybe a reverse. We'll see what we can get. We'll see what we can get. Maybe I could just pull her up right here. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. This is some of the cool things you can do with paramotors. Oh no, she ain't coming up. That's good. That's all right. Now, if I can't launch for some reason, that's gonna really blow. So wish me luck, boys. Because I don't want to have to walk down. It does not sound like the move. And kick some dirt, see? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 
Well, that's just lovely. All right, well, here goes nothing, man. Well, now I'm a little, uh, now I'm sweating. I'll be fine. I've landed on mountains before. Okay, let's go. Everything that I freaking got, man. Oh my Lanta! Oh my Lanta! That's why we have glider control, baby! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! That was probably the craziest launch. Oh my gosh, that was the craziest freaking launch. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Whew. Whew. I'm sweating. <laughs> that's, why, that's why we practice, man. Moments like that. Where it's absolute craziness. Because that was absolutely crazy. It was ridiculous, dude. Dude, I didn't get a thumbnail. What was I thinking? Doing it again. I'll have to get a thumbnail somehow, some other way. Ooh. Ah, thanks thermals and uh, lift for a little boost up here. I was trying to go down, but y'all, I, I can always count on you guys to bring me up.
Okay guys, I just landed after that wicked flight. I flew to the top of Eagle Mountain. You can see it right there. I think the peak is like 10,000 feet. I could totally be wrong about that. And if I am wrong, I'm sorry. But you saw I landed at the top. I, I came in, I did a touch and go once to feel it out. It felt good, so I decided to go for it a second time. And man, was I sweating that launch because a forward launch at 10,000 feet is just gnarly. And then you guys saw in the video, I was getting rocked around. That was probably the craziest launch I have ever done. And uh, I pulled it off up there. That was wicked cool. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you liked it. Comment down below. Uh, if you want to learn how to fly these things, check out flyflattop.com or call us at 800-707-2525. Thank you.